Agent 47 and Diana Burnwood are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. Unknowingly, they have been hired by a shadow client to target a number of operatives of Providence, a secret organization working in the highest echelons of power. Providence's controller, the Constant, approaches Diana and makes her a deal. Eliminate the shadow client and learn about 47's past. But when 47 discovers that the shadow client is Lucas Gray, his lost childhood friend, he and Diana switch sides to fulfill an old pact. Destroy Providence. Together, they manage to capture the Constant, forcing him to reveal the identities of the three Providence partners. Eliminate them, and the war would be over. However, the Constant has an ace up his sleeve. Look closer. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power. A hidden hand. A kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets to use and throw away, to do the unthinkable, the unforgivable, and it never gave us a second thought until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back. Me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the Constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learnt the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And, just maybe, look towards the future. 37. It's time. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? What the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. 
This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. 47. Come in. 47, do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards a point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. Use your camera and scan the lock, will you? I think I can override the window's controls from here. The inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. No need to panic. However, even we are not both as has been proven to men. And I encourage them as I But I like listening to the radio. Our Royal Highness has never talked about it before. Yeah, I'm 
I'm sorry, but Mr. Ingram, who is the Royal Highness's guest, has requested no noise of any kind. Okay, but it means I'll work slower. I don't care what tempo you work. It will be slow, and I'll probably get a warning about that. I think I'm in love. That's Carl Ingram, Providence partner and Brass Balls billionaire. A legendary political fixer, Ingram is old money and as rotten as they come. Wonder if there are any other blood-sucking journalists that... Wait up! Who are you? Do I know you? Multiple laser dots on your forehead, mister. That should tell you to give it up. This is your final warning! Carl Ingram finally gets what he deserves. Good riddance. Now let's get Marcus Stuyvesant. What's the update on my new guard? My current one has been on duty for way too long. I need security that's sharp and focused. We still haven't heard from him yet, but we know he's in the building. I'm sure he's just waiting for his uniform, and he'll be up soon. I'm glad to hear, but I Looking don't like good, to be man. kept waiting. Looking good. Make sure he has his papers and call me, okay? I'll call you as soon as he turns up. You better. Excuse me. I've talked to one of your people inside the exhibition, but I think she is kind of slow. M maybe you can help? Uh, I don't know. I can try. The sun. It's not as bright as it should be. Do you know why? Oh, sorry, I'm... Whoa. We got him, 47. 
Soon there will be no more providence. You need to find an exit. Our business is done here, but it's far from over. <laughs> 